Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, and boy do I have a build for you today. We're going to be using the Raw MG, and we're going to be taking a different approach than maybe most people would. Most people would focus on the damage range and the really big positives of the Raw, and that's going to be the high hitting damage. But what we've done is we've kind of sped up the mobility attachments here in order to get our gun up a little quicker and focus more along the lines of medium range. And let me tell you, this definitely best fits the more aggressive style of play. But keep in mind, it's still an LMG. You're going to have to pace yourself properly in order to get the most effectiveness out of the weapon. We're going to start back here with a stock. You're going to want to be running the demo nimble stock. That's going to give you aim walking speed along with sprint speed. But what we're not doing here with this stock is sacrificing recoil control. I still want to keep that recoil control nice and low so we can't take some farther fights. But I did want some mobility gained in the process. And the nimble stock does a great job of that. Tuning is going to be negative 1.55 towards your aim down sight speed. Negative 0.85 towards your aim walking speed. Down here to the magazine, probably the most important attachment of the build is going to be the 50 round belt. You can see all that's gained with the handling and mobility with this attachment yes you don't have that stock like 100 round mag that you expect with an lmg but at the same time you're getting your gun up much quicker your sprint to fire speeds much higher and just overall i find that with when you're not running the 50 round belt here the weapon's so slow it's almost unusable in multiplayer at that point the 50 round belt is a must run attachment for the underbar you want the demo narrow grip it's going to give you aim walking steadiness aiming idle stability and recoil stabilization so the other ones to all take away aim down sight speed which obviously is something we're trying to avoid here we're only sacrificing aim walking speed and crouch movement speed which isn't all too big of a deal when running a high damage weapon like the raw tuning for that one is going to be negative 0.62 towards your aim down sight speed then i got a negative 0.06 towards the aim walking speed for the muzzle you do want the shred cp90 because this weapon has a massive kick to it so we are unfortunately sacrificing some aim down sight speed but nothing too crazy you do need this for vertical and horizontal recoil control tuning is is going to be negative 0.59 towards aim down sight speed plus 0.27 towards the gun kick control last attachment is the exf golf 16 barrel it's going to give you recoil control hip recoil control bullet velocity and aim down sight speed we are sacrificing some damage range but you can't see on the stat bar there it's virtually non-existent but in the in the pattern of gaining aim down sight speed and of course some recoil control is never a bad thing this is a great barrel for this build tuning is plus 0.31 towards recoil steadiness then i got negative 0.34 towards the aim down sight speed so I would say for good reason, the Raw has received a various amounts of nerfs, but at the same time, I think they did took the wrong approach. They made this weapon super, super slow in the process. I can understand the processes of wanting to nerf the damage ranges and things like that, but I never found the weapon to be overpowered in terms of mobility and aim down sight speed. But I've kind of found a way to revert that with this build, even though you don't want to be taking super long range fights. Let me know what you think the build is always down in the comment section. Let's get over to museum for a gameplay. You can see exactly how to play with the weapon. Hope you guys enjoy. We are going on a date to the museum. Gonna see some artwork and whatnot. I have no idea what we're doing here, but we got a big gun and it's the raw. Gonna pick some melons. Oh yeah, you guys thought. So basically what I've done is I've built this out to focus on getting your gun up quicker. So we've put on that 50 round mag. So it has a faster aim down sight speed because of the magazine itself. The thing is, is you can't play like objective or on the hill with this thing. You got to keep your, your distance. But it hits super hard. All right, they just had two people leave the game. No bueno, don't like that. But team is gonna need some assistance on the objective here. So I have the knife out so I can move around the map because I'm sure you've, if you've picked up this thing, you know that you move like a snail. I don't know the spawns for this hill. I'm thinking that yeah, they're still on me here. I believe they're still spawning on me here, so I'm scared to, you know, look at the hill. We saw him. I'm 
gonna hit my advanced UAV just so I can get some information here. Bam. 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 Is that guy want to come through? He's there. Yep, come on. Enemies deployed a bomb drone, so I want nothing to do with that. I can see it on the map for now, so that's good. Okay, so we have just secured the spawn. But it doesn't make it easy. We have now lost our advanced UAV. So we're going to have to play a little more careful because we don't want to run up on somebody that has an SMG or even a fast moving AR. If we do that, we're dead. There's no way we're going to get our gun up quick enough. So what we're going to do is prioritize playing around the hills. We're going to prioritize being that support option outside of the hills. Now, what would be very bueno is if somebody on my team could lock down a UAV for me. So I could go on the flank to the right, but my based on where my team is, that would be a poor decision. I'm in trouble. I didn't pay attention to my ammo count. And I'm going to have to assume. Yep, they're going to come for me right now. That's what I was talking about. Right here. Doing his little mount emote. Kill this guy. There we go. With the shield. Dang. So, unfortunately, this is just not a weapon. Unless you're playing, like, I want to say shipment or something. You're not going to get, like, a ridiculous amount of kills. Like, you can. It's not impossible. But it becomes much more difficult, strictly because you can't play aggressive with it. See, they, right there is a perfect example of what happens when you run up close range on somebody. You're, you just don't have the sprint to fire or the aim down sights to win the gunfight. So it's just something, one of those things you got to keep in mind when you're playing with a weapon like this. It, it, it's pretty similar. Cool jump shot, Papa Beans. We still have a lot of time, which means we can pick our kill count up a bit here. And that's what we're going to aim to do. Okay, we got a UAV. This guy's got ghosts. I'm gonna, yep. I was gonna say, I'm gonna assume that's where he is. That's a very common spot on museum. Oh, yeah, boy. Bam. Well, again, what happens when you push an enemy out of the correct, you know, line of sights? So we got a guy in this corner right here, a guy in that corner. And we got 762 Jalen jump shot in that corner, giving me the smoke jab, but he doesn't know. He doesn't know what I have in store for him at the end of this game. I definitely saw him. Good teammate got him. We got them trapped. I don't know what he's running, but that hurt. I'm trying my best here. I want to get 60 kills. Bam. 
Cham Bam, thank you, ma'am. Fifty six. There's definitely one above us there. Copy. UAV is on station. All right, gotta be prepared to hit my nuke here. I don't think 60 is gonna happen. It is not. Unless I can pop three kills out of nowhere. Probably not gonna happen here. And that guy had ghost, Mr. Papa Beans. Regardless of the fact, we had a very good game. Featured the weapon very well. Played some museum, changed it up a bit. You guys know how it goes. That is the raw, everybody. GG's.